Hey, yo, uh, this will be your easy guide to Derm Hall Pits. So, to find pits, which is first thing to do if you wanna explore them, you go across this building and you go like this, and you just keep going into this corner, like this, diagonally, and you just keep doing that all the time. Until you get to this tree. If you can't think, you might fucking uh, consider entering here and you are here. Your stupid followers will be like trading weapons with each other because there are traps. But you don't need to bother with this. Okay, now most important part of pits. With the sneaking parts. This is actually, this, this, you, you might not have to do it, if you go solo, you don't need to fucking take care of these losers. I mean, da dangerous. As much as dangerous, uh, you can call three spiders. Okay, and this is the most dangerous room in this fucking entire dungeon. One of two, actually. If I'm being honest completely. Because you need to cast one spell. I mean, you can obviously just go in and out if you want, or even attack enemies. But why would you attack poor enemies who are fucking weaker than me? Oh, there is unidentified stuff. I need it. And this will be a fucking problem. Let's check the door. Dog, door are unlocked. Okay. So this stuff is quite interesting. In that case you don't actually, you actually like this stuff. This stuff is trash. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's save here and let's ask my dog to open the door for us. When I tell the dog to open the door
done. It is done. Why do you have bullets with your gun? <laughs> I'm not ironically, I don't know. Not sure. Okay, so this is the the, the second uh, hardest room, as you need to cast Charm Beast. And that's it. And that's that's the entire dungeon. Uh, so I will explain uh, what is not the entire dungeon, but we we'll probably don't wanna go here. If you go here, they attack you for no reason at all. And naturally, they have no chance, so you will murder them. And the same here. We might try to talk to Dark Elf Bandit actually. But it will be relatively hard. Let's just give Virgil this garbage. And let's try to attack to half a bandit. I will teach you how to avoid the, the losers, which are these three. You just do three, two jumps. And this is the situation why, why you took bow to this place in the first place. This guy doesn't talk. Would you kindly like say shit? I mean, yes, it's a word. Thank you. Yes. Should I be concerned about your presence around me in this fucking high security prison? No, I don't think so. It is Okay, we can start skidaddling from this area because, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the, the only place of Curio. There can spawn a very unique follower if you are on evil playthrough. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot, I didn't kill him. And done. That's the entire dungeon for you. Uh, most notable route is the stupid stuff that I took. Okay, I would like to identify this. A small meatier chainmail. Oh, it's actually a good item. Grag Burdenson, it's actually a trash item and Dagger of Speed. Yeah. It gives SPD, which is uh, not speed. SPD is speed of a weapon. There were discussion if to call it uh, VSPD, SPD, speed, because speed is used as global speed. And actually, trash uh, garden some stuff have this fucking speed minus four, so it's global speed. Yeah, it's absolutely awful to use. Yeah, it's uh, fucking horrendous. But hey, easy meter. Wait, you don't. Ah, oh, okay. You have, you have a quite competition here. And no, normally, you should not refuse me clear armor when someone give it to you. But fair.
Yeah, it's too heavy. Holy shit. So for me it's 1150 stone. It's basically unusable. At least it was designed to be such, but it has extremely good to hit bonus. And so there is a lot of uh, like beneficial trade-off in this item. It's not completely useless. I would take books and notes to the proper chest toss. And you guys have a good day. See you.